I'm Joel with Power Stance Import Export and thanks for checking this video out. Today I've got a real treat for you. All right, this is a Defender TD5 and I have been waiting a long time for these because in order to import Defenders from overseas they have to be 25 years old and most TD5 Defenders started production in 1999 so we can't get those until next year. I happen to find a very early model 1998 Land Rover Defender TD5 and I snatched it up and brought it over here. Now, what's a TD5 you say if you don't know? Well, TD5 is the next generation of Defender motors. They had the 200, the 300 TDI and then the TD5, all right? So 300 TDI was mechanically injected, about 115 horsepower, can't really do much hot rod wise to them. These ones, electronically injected, you can tune them you can add larger turbos, you can add larger intercoolers, and literally double the horsepower of a 200 or 300 TDI, which makes these things little rockets, all right? So this very well may be one of the only Defender TDI or TD5s for sale in the country right now. So I've got one, this one, right here in Michigan, titled, ready to go for sale today. So if you wanna be the only one that has a TD5 Defender, jump on it, all right? Because this is the only one as far as I know. Could be another one, but probably not. All right. Okay, folks, so up for sale today, this lovely 1998 Land Rover Defender TD5, 90 wheelbase, obviously, uh, in Alpine white with the black roof. This is a right-hand drive UK import. It's now located here in Michigan and comes with a clean, clear Michigan title. So let me walk you around the vehicle. I'll show you the inside, the outside, the underside, and we'll take it for a test ride. Okay, so as I stated before, this is a TD5, all right? Again, a very rare Defender uh, for a 1998. Not many of these for sale in the country at all. Seriously, folks, there might be one or two other ones, but this is the only one I know of, all right? So here's the TD5, five cylinder, 2.5 liter. And a friend of mine told me that uh, these are one of the best sounding engines because it has 500 cc's per cylinder just like a 4 liter v8 5 liter v10 6 liter v12 they all sound amazing all right so this one has got a little bit of an aftermarket exhaust a little bit of a tune so it does sound amazing all right so here is the engine bay master cylinder the air filter on the td5 looks a little bit more user friendly than the tdis just pop a couple clips change your filter good to go um oil change right here this little cap comes off if you can get to it there's your oil cap dipstick radiator hoses all right and i'm not seeing this is the first time i've seen this motor so learning as we go i don't see any leaks coming off the cylinder head dripping down the side of the motor or anything like that there's your serpentine belt down in there power steering reservoir is the same as the tdi there is a good look at the foot wells, kind of. They look good, all right, the foot wells. Okay, pretty clean. There's the front side of the bulkhead, also looking very clean. And this bulkhead is in great shape. There's a little bit of paint touch up here, but everything is all solid steel. There's no filler in there. I took a magnet to it just to check it out. This is all original bulkhead, good shape. A little bit of uh, flaking paint here, all right, in some various areas. Now, I would say drivability, this is a 10 out of 10. Engine runs great, gearbox, clutch, brakes, suspension, all great. The body itself, maybe a 7 out of 10. Um, paint is super glossy, very dent-free, very straight panels. Um, I just rubbed out the paint and waxed it, and it shines really good but there are a few little blemishes here and there. 
Oh, again, some paint flaking on the hinges here. Um, but windscreen, I don't see any chips or cracks in the windscreen. Bonnet is in great shape as well. No dents. Nobody's been standing on this bonnet. Fantastic. We got some checker plate here on the wings. Um, that goes to nothing. Um, I guess that's where your snorkel. No, snorkel's right there. Um, but this is your heater box. I don't know why there's another vent here. Anyways, it just looks cool, I guess. Um, in the front here, we've got LED lights and signals, gloss black light surrounds, gloss black grill as well, the little bumperettes on the TD5. Light bar, it's, it's just great for at night when there's nobody around and you don't want to blind anybody, but it's super bright. Um, beautiful set of BF Goodrich All Terrains and these uh, five spoke Challenger wheels are, you know, I wasn't really a fan of the Challenger wheels before, but I love them on this one. It looks fantastic. All right. Uh, we do have snorkel as well. Mirrors in great shape, door hinges are new on the driver's side. Beautiful set of rock sliders as well. Cappings all look great. I did install a new set of sliding windows. It was a van size, so it was just blank. So I installed the windows, makes it look fantastic. Goes great with the black roof. Full size spare tire. A Little bit of paint flaking on the uh, rear corners here. And this is originally a white vehicle, so I don't know where this black paint is coming from. Uh, it could be the primer underneath it, but a uh, little bit of paint chipping right there, but nothing too serious. Window seals in great shape. Door bottoms all good as well. All three doors are in great shape. There's the back side of the rear cross member looking good. Nice zinc coated hitch as well, mud flaps. In the back here, blank canvas pretty much. Um, you can put benches in here, no problem. Pretty economical choice. Or you can leave it as is and leave it for cargo space. And it does have the bulkhead delete, which is nice for the taller gentlemen and ladies. Um, that makes the seats go back a little further. So that's good. Uh, full length headliner as well. Moving around to the passenger side, same deal over here. A couple little paint chips on the rear corners, but the cappings are in great shape. No rust there. Um, tiny little bit of corrosion on the door bottoms, on the skins. But all in all, they're on a 9 out of 10. Pretty decent. And the door bottoms as well. No rusty corners or bottoms. Um, doors are in pretty decent shape. Door cards look good as well. That's the original carpet. We do have a nice set of seat covers and the seats underneath are in really good shape as well. So those are good. Land Rover floor mats. Uh, there's some sound deadening material here so I can't show you the inside of the footwells but from earlier in the video, they look great on the exterior. So safe to say they're good on the inside as well. There's a good look at the dashboard. Nice set of aftermarket speakers. Uh, AM FM radio, seat heaters as well. And this is a, a European thing. It adjusts your headlights up and down just a little bit. Um, Five-speed manual gearbox, obviously, LT230. Center locking differential, cubby box with cup holder. And it does have these nice little window vent things to keep uh, rain out and you can keep the windows down just to crack when it's raining. Again, a little bit of paint chips on the hinges. But all in all, beautiful truck, no dents, pretty straight panels. And uh, let's go ahead and get her started up here. Got an aftermarket Momo steering wheel. All right, completely different dashboard than the 300 TDI. Much brighter lights, much clearer gauges. Fires right up.
right, so underneath the vehicle here, we do have disc brakes on this TD5 axle as well, and it's a little bit different axle than the, than the TDI. Um, but uh, disc brakes, it does have a rear sway bar or anti-roll bar as well back here, so it gives the ride. And it looks like, um, just from looking at other Defenders, the bottom of the axle, so this vehicle might be lowered actually, um, a little bit more comfortable ride, easier to get in and out of, and the stance looks fantastic as well. Still very capable off-road, but I think it has been lowered a tiny bit. All right, here we are on the driver's side of the vehicle. Um, pinion seal looks fantastic. There's your universal joints. There's the exhaust. Pretty big exhaust, actually. That looks like a two and a half inch or three inch or give or take and then there's the bottom of the transfer case looking nice and clean there's your gearbox bell housing and uh, bottom of the the uh, cross member between the chassis rails looks nice and clean nobody's been abusing this off-road and then there's the bottom of the engine looking nice and clean and chassis rails outriggers a little bit of a ding right there, but outriggers look nice and solid. Bushings on the control arms. These are poly bushings. They have been uh, coated with wax oil. There's another outrigger there. Tiny little bit of surface rust here and there, but all in all, chassis is in beautiful shape. All right, here we are on the passenger side. There's the chassis looking great. There's the battery box as well, pretty clean. And again, there's a little bit of uh, the wax oil came off of the poly bushings there, but those are new. There's the uh, front outrigger as well. Um, everything looks pretty solid. It does have terra firma shocks in the rear as well, which is nice. And up front here, there's a good look at the swivels. Those are looking good. Shocks and springs also very tidy. There's your steering drop arm, that looks good. Bottom of the motor looks very clean. Most TDIs are kind of soaked in oil, but that looks very dry. Um, I have not power washed or cleaned that off. So that's a good sign. And uh, passenger side swivels look good as well. And there's your tie rod and uh, ball joints bottom of the chassis a little bit of surface rust here on the bumper and stuff but that could be cleaned up very easily all right all right folks the best part of the video coming up right now let's do a quick zero to 60 quickish all right um i don't know if i should keep the window down or not but the turbo's got a fantastic little whistle going on all right, so let's take her down the road. I'll show you all the gear changes, braking and steering, all that good stuff. Right off the bat, there's 30 miles an hour right there. That's 45. I don't know 
if I mentioned it earlier on in the video, but we got 97,000 miles on this thing. Very low for the year. 